You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the Options Playbook, the program where we break down cutting-edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA, and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Ally Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. All right, this week in Options Playbook Radio, uh, our paper trade is going to be a little bit of a rinse and repeat from last week. Uh, last week, we looked at ExxonMobil, and we decided we wanted to take a longer position in ExxonMobil going into the end of the summer, kind of get long some of the energy stocks. Everybody's over there Talking about the meme stocks, it looks like they somebody might have fed them after midnight again because the stocks were rocking and rolling all last week. Uh, but with that said, the energy stocks have done really well recently. The price of oil is up overall. And since the beginning of the year, a lot of the energy stocks have had very strong moves. So we decided that we were going to use the fact that ExxonMobil's implied volatility came down a little bit and we bought a deeper in the money call option. Now, last week when we looked at ExxonMobil, the stock was at 63.21. It's made a decent run up since that time, but it's basically back to where it was. But we're still long that leap option contract, and we just stay the course. We paid $9.30 for it. We limited our risk by buying that call option, and it still gives us some opportunity. So that trade uh, is doing as we would expect it to. It's uh, basically given us a position in ExxonMobil going into the end of the year. So uh, very simple to just stay the course. And hopefully we get the, the bump up in some more of these energy stocks in general. Okay, so AMD is a totally different beast. AMD and Xilinx are actually merging before the end of the year. So AMD is a semiconductor stock. Uh, there's a lot of lot of demand for chips out there, and that demand is expected to increase as we see the rise of the electronic vehicles. We're seeing Ford dip their toe in. We talked about Ford a while back on Options Playbook Radio. And then also we've seen uh, GM and some of the other big car companies just saying, we're all building EVs. We're all going to be bringing them out. And guess what? That's going to increase demand for chips. Okay, so... AMD has taken a little dip because of the announcement of the merger with Xilinx. It's going to be an all-stock merger overall, and it's supposed to happen sometime before the end of the year. So the plan here is that we want to participate in AMD, but we're going to do it before the merger. And how can we do that and limit our risk? Well, we're going to go out and use that same expiration that we did with ExxonMobil last week. We're going to look at the January 21st, 2020 70 strike call. So we're going to go out 218 days in time and we're going to go deep in the money and we're going to buy an 78 delta option contract. Now, one of the things about buying leaps 
uh, or longer term options. This isn't exactly a leap. It's just a longer term option going out 218 days. Um, is that they sometimes have illiquid marketplaces. In other words, they have wider bid ask spreads, especially compared to the stock. But now the 70 strike call, the market is 1670 by 17. So it's feasible. And, and a lot of the leap option or the longer term options that are around it have decent markets in it. And I do say decent. I'm not going to say that they're good markets, but they have decent markets in them. So it makes it feasible to actually do this strategy as opposed to buying the stock outright. So we're going to buy that option contract. Then to complete the fig leaf, otherwise known as a leverage cover call, we're going to sell a shorter term option. And AMD has some volatility. So it makes it more feasible. You're going to get a little bit of juice to do this strategy, uh, the fig leaf in AMD, as opposed to ExxonMobil, where vols were down around 15%, if I recall, um, in ExxonMobil last week. So there just really wasn't a lot of juice to sell on the near-term options. Not the case with AMD. So guess what? We're going to sell some. We're going to sell the July 2nd expiration 86 strike call, and that's trading for 101 by 104. So if we hit the bid, we'd be bringing in about a dollar on that position. So our goal here with AMD trading at 82.91, and I guess I should mention we are actually taping on Thursday. The market is open. Uh, AMD is up two dollars and eighty cents at that uh, at this point in time. We're going to be selling an 86 strike call. Now that's only three points away, but we only got a 15 days to that expiration date. So. If we do this entire trade, we're going to get it done for a net debit of $15.80 to the account. Overall, that means we're risking about 18% of the entire stock price overall. So could we lose more than 18% if we bought the stock outright? Yeah, we could. But one of the nice things about a leap option too, or a longer term option is that if that stock comes down to our strike price, our 70 strike call, we'll just sell it and get out. We'd close our short option contract and we would sell that because on the way down, once we get to that, if that 70 strike call becomes an at the money option contract, you get a boost. You get a lot of time premium uh, boost from being an at the money option contract. So that's kind of a way to address it. We're going to put this position on. We don't want to miss out uh, uh, after the merger. So we're going to take a position now. We're going to limit our risk with that option contract. We're going to whittle away at the time premium that we paid for it by selling some near term call options. But after the merger, we just want to be long this option contract in general. OK, so I'm going to give one quick summary of the trade and that'll be it for Options Playbook Radio. So we're going to go uh, in advanced micro devices. Uh, last trade was $82.91. It's up $2.80. We're going to go out to the January 21st, 2022 expiration, and we're going to buy that 70 strike call. At the same time, we're going to go to the July 2nd expiration and sell the 86 strike call. We're going to do this for a net debit to the account of $15.80. That's going to limit our risk to $1,580 plus commissions for every one by one spread that we do. And we're going to set an alert for the underlying stock. And if it gets to 86, we're going to do something with that short-term call option. And that's our outlook for our uh, fig leaf in AMD. All right, that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. If you have a topic you'd like us to discuss on the show or a question you'd like us to answer on the program, you can send them directly to me at theoptionsguy@invest.ally.com. Follow me on Twitter, handle at Brian Overby. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish into money, and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. 
For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. <laughs>